This is going in today's vlog because this is actually really pissing me off. This is almost brainwashing. Let me scroll up to here. This is in school. This is what I'm doing right now. Um, whatever you believe is whatever you believe, but check this out. And what happened today does nothing to diminish it. We don't hide our space program. We don't keep secrets and cover things up. We do it all up front and in public. That's the way freedom is, and we wouldn't change it for a minute. That's the biggest bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Ronald Reagan knows 100% that he was lying right here. And let me just go on to prove it. I'm actually typing this whole thing out right now, and I'm putting this in my freaking post. All I'm supposed to comment about is how he performed in the speech. But he... While listening, I noticed he said that. And it pissed me off because that's just straight brainwashing. This kid is just this kid. But now my teacher's posting this in the discussion and I'm reading all these comments about everybody and everybody's saying Reagan successfully talked about the Cold War by stating that we Americans do not hide things. That is not our way. What? And then it says right here, this person responded to theirs and said, I agree with you that he was not... I agree with you that he was comparing the Americans do not hide things and that the Soviet Union did. Bro, that's the biggest cap in the fucking world and it's pissing me off because everybody's just brainwashed now. Look at that. So I went on to say, I gave my point here, right, for like the actual project. And then I went on to say, well, let me just read this. All the... <laughs> I say, he mentions freedom and that the U.S. does not hide things, which makes the people of the United States feel safe. Although, that's a lie. In my opinion, he should have just left that part out because, yes, the United States does have more freedom than any other country in the world, but a lot of things are hidden from the public, right? And so I, and then I was like, all right, cool, we're done. But I added all this side note stuff. So side note, that's a little off topic, just posting this as information to back my point that United States hides information and that Rogan knew he was not telling the truth in his speech. So I went on to say that the U.S. space program, the United States government, the military, private secret groups, such as UAP, I'm not going to pronounce it like that, uh, UAPTFA or PTF, Skunk Works and many more are hiding more things than you can imagine. You may recall the leaked images of the Chicago O'Hare UFO sighting released from the Pentagon this summer that was back in 2006 but was never confirmed until 2020 when someone had leaked the video. There are secret groups who are reverse engineering UFOs such as Bob Lazar who was hired in the late 1980s a secret group called s4 hired him to take part to take apart a ufo to try and study it and rebuild it now to step away from ufos because many people don't believe in them and tend to think those who talk about them are crazy i'm going to write um about like the things that are happening behind the scenes so that you know people are putting people are like putting dirt on each other in a way to keep them locked in in their secrets for about like other people um when i finish it i'll just read it out loud so you guys can get a better understanding so it's the next morning and basically all i wrote left was that um this one guy named stanley meyer went to a restaurant with his brother and then he got food poisoning or he you know had some poisoning in his drink something went wrong there and um he runs out of the restaurant and says like they poisoned me and then dies in the parking lot um and this gentleman here was the first one to make a um, I think he's the only one to make a, like, a car that runs on water, right? And, um, the next day his house was put up for auction, and, uh, along with the car and the garage that the car was in, and two FBI agents out-auctioned everybody else at the auction. They got the house, the car, and the garage, and then, uh, burned it all down the next day. So, a little sus there. Um, but it's funny because someone responded, I'm not going to show their name just for their privacy or whatever, but it said, Matthew, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not sure I agree with your feeling that he should not have said the line about the U.S. doesn't hide things, but I respect your right to share it. That is what America is about. Uh, we have different opinions. So shout out to her for, you know, bringing that up. That's goaded that she read that and wasn't like mean about it.